Welcome everyone. There are a couple of solutions to access all websites in your iPhone. So real quick, let me just show you that the archive.org is blocked. You can see it simply doesn't load on my Wi-Fi. The adult entertainment also doesn't load. And by the end, whatever you want to load will load. So first of all, let's just check if we don't have you know, some blockers blocking these sites. So let's open up the settings app and we're going to scroll down until we see Safari. And you're going to find where it says content blockers. And if we scroll down here, we don't see the content blockers option. And so what that means is we can skip that step. There are no content blockers on our device. If there are, the content blockers may be linked to an app you installed, so you will need to delete that app, or you can turn off the content blockers. Let's also go into extensions here, and you can see these extensions. If an extension here is like ad blocker or filter, something like that, just turn off the extension or delete the extension if you would like to as well but I don't have any extensions. I don't have any content blockers, but I still can't access my site. So the second solution is in the app store, we're going to download this free app and it's called one dot one dot one dot one. And so what this does is it allows you to use DNS over HTTPS. And the English translation is for some Wi-Fi networks, not all, this will unblock all websites. So let's open up the 1111. And again, this is completely free to use in its entirety. The Warp Plus is a paid subscription. Ignore it. Just connect to the free Warp. And it may bring you into the settings. You may need to enter in your password for this to work, but that's only required once. And once that's done, once we are connected, it says it's a VPN, but this is actually not a VPN. Again, it's just DNS over HTTPS. And so from here, in my case, this unblocks the websites for me, as you can see, but this may not work for you. So if you are in a situation where you try the 1111 and that's not enough, then we now need to try VPNs. So a quick 10 second background, some Wi-Fi's will have extremely strict security and they will block the VPNs. Back in my day, back in my day, about five years ago, I downloaded maybe 200 free VPN apps from the app store and I found one which worked eventually. And so that's what we need to do. So just search up, you know, VPN, and you just need to go one by one by one by one by one, download these VPNs. If they require subscription, don't bother with these uh, subscription, just go to the next app. But if there is a free option, see if the free VPN will work. If the free VPN, when you connect to it, unblocks the websites, and connecting to the VPN is just like connecting to this uh, Cloud, Cloudflare warp. So I'm not going to you know, show out to connect to a VPN, right? But if you connect to a VPN and the websites load, just try it multiple times, make sure it is actually loading. Then you may want to consider paying for the full VPN because free VPNs do suck. They have limits you can use. They have limited internet speeds. And so I would personally recommend paying if you can. Okay, if you can't, you can't just use the free VPN. Once it expires, uninstall, reinstall. That would be my recommendation. So back in my old school days, XVPN worked, but then eventually they patched it. And so I ended up using SkyVPN. This may not exist. It still exists. So this was the one VPN out of the 200 I tried that did work. The school never patch this, which is incredible. The problem with this is even with the premium, the speeds were pretty slow, but it did get the job done. It made my school years 
a hundred times better because I could play games in school. You know how it is with my school iPad, which I also bypass the restrictions for. Now, if you try the VPNs and you just so something ain't right, then quickly go into the settings and go into screen time. And maybe you have content and privacy restrictions on your phone because the content and privacy restrictions can actually block Safari websites. So if you do have a parent who put screen time on your phone, then the workaround for that is just download a third party browser. So try Chrome. If you're having issues with Chrome, just try some other browser. And eventually that third party browser will allow you to access whatever website you would like uh, because the content and privacy restrictions should only apply for Safari and any other application which wants to comply with these restrictions. But some browsers will just ignore it. Okay. If you have your parents restricting you from downloading apps from the App Store, which is a possibility, then you will need to research how to remove screen time without the password. But not to worry, because I also have a solution for that as well. And you don't need to hack your phone under that. So I will have that video in the description if you need to follow that. If you have a school iPad and you've tried all this and this is not working either, then you may need to bypass the school iPad restrictions. And surprise, surprise, I also have a solution for that. And I'll have that video in the description. It is not the same as screen time. Okay. So by the end, you should have all websites up and running, no problems, whether you have you know, a phone which has restrictions on it, or you have a Wi-Fi restrictions, but no restrictions on the phone, or you have a school iPad, you should have everything up and running. And if that's the case, please do drop a like. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.